Hello, my name is Budrich and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve, let's see, uh, perfect folders. Ah, it almost worked. Whatever. Um, what I mean about perfect folders is the perfect folder structure inside your home folder. And doesn't this sound fun, fun? like an exciting video? Everyone wants perfect folders. Everyone wants their home folder to be neat and nice to the eyes. This is my home folder. This uh, window here, it's uh, Space FM. It's a great file manager that I came to really like. It doesn't really matter what file manager you use or and it doesn't really matter what file manager I use, whatever. This is the home folder. You can see that there are no normal names like it usually are in the home folder. You can see uh, it usually have a folder called downloads. I have renamed it to DWN and I have renamed pictures to PIX. Pics. Chicks with pics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reason for this is of course we all have done this we've been in the home folder and then we want to open the downloads folder we start uh, typing do press tab nothing happened what the down nothing happens it's because uh, the default name for the downloads folder is downloads with a capital D so you have to start doing this to do it and you have to type the three letters because there are also a folder called documents by default so you have to two folders with the two same uh, characters as a start which is annoying when you uh, like me and many other people like to use tab completions you know so you just type one or two letters pre press tab and it completes to the download folder that's why i have renamed them to three letters and only lowercase uh, characters or letters uh, it's very easy to do this i might show you how in this video otherwise it's uh, i have a small guide on it on my blog and it's not really that that I wanted to show you. Let's hide this uh, terminal for a while. The home folder here, you see I have no hidden files here. It's, uh, yeah, it's simple, control H. It's the same in every file manager in existence, except maybe uh, terminal-based file managers, <laughs> whatever. Um, now I have uh, hidden files turned on, show hidden files vivid. Yeah, uh, so you can see all, all folders and files starting with the dot is visible. And now my home folder doesn't look as pleasant to look at, easy to browse as it did without the hidden files. It looks like a mess. And this is how it used to look, and I got really tired of this. You know, it, it takes time just to find the documents folder, it's, it's ridiculous. But at the same time, you constantly want to see uh, the hidden files because if you use uh, GNU Linux or a Unix-based system, you constantly open and edit the, the so-called dot files because that's where you make settings. For example, let's open uh, profile, dot profile, classic settings file, you know, here. Have to open this and then you have to show the files maybe if you don't have some some other way you, you can of course open it from the terminal or you can have as i have here i have a dot folder with the profile there it's the same file whatever uh, but you know you know how it is you always you turn it on and then you don't turn it off and then it looks like a mess and then blah 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 so i have i have i have really tried to to make this work this is how I did it. And this is not the thing either. Just hidden files. I can do that. I understand, but it's just rename them, link them to a folder. It's more to it. This is cool stuff. You will like this. You see uh, some folders here. They have a little arrow 
a little little arrow indicating that they are soft links to a folder somewhere else. And I think uh, many people know what a soft link is. Even if they don't call it a soft link, they maybe call it shortcut because that's what a soft link is called on a Windows operating system. But it's uh, we're using uh, GNU Linux Peppermint 8 here, and here it is called a symbolic soft link. Where do these folders actually live? Where, where, where what are their their targets? They live inside this folder, the box folder. Maybe you have guessed what it is. Let's open it and see. Yeah, that's nice organization, Budrich. A folder with just one folder inside of it. Couldn't you just have this inside the home folder? Yes, I could, but I cannot rename the Dropbox folder. Dropbox doesn't allow me this, at least not on Linux. So this is a compromise. I, I made a folder called Box, uh, and inside that is my Dropbox folder, because it would mess everything up if I would have to have a, a folder called Dropbox with a capital D here. It's, I can't have that, so this is what I did. And uh, let's do this. Uh, Space FM, one of the advantages, one of the many, many advantages with this beautiful program is that you can have multiple panels open so now i have two home folders here it's the same folder and different it's like having two windows with the inside one whatever let's open dropbox here this is how the dropbox folder looks like hmm i think you understand now right this is where the links come from bin in my home folder is bin on my dropbox folder it's the same or it's not the same. The original is on Dropbox. The link is on my home folder. Uh, and the bin is also in my path. Uh, you know, uh, in bash RC or some, you can also put it in, in the profile. Uh, you have a path somewhere where you define folders with scripts or executable files that you want to be able to execute without typing in the path. So I, if I want to run a script in here, like, uh, yeah, let's see, didn't I have that lol but ah, uh, whatever. If I want to run a script, you know this, if I want to run a script inside the bin folder, I don't have to type uh, uh, the whole path to the bin folder. I just type the script wherever I am in the file system. So bin is in my path, as you could see here. Home bin, yeah. But it it's actually these files. But it, yeah. Do you get it? If I create a file, let's do that. Let's do it this way. Let's so clean, neat, and clean. Uh, we can let's do it in the bin folder, in the home folder. Here is the home folder. Let's go to it in the terminal to make it really clear bin I am in bin check it out it's the same folder let's make a file create a file on the terminal just write touch and the file name hello hello bin on and this is just the, the the shortcut to the folder so the file does actually gets created here there it is hello and if I remove the file from this place, delete. Yes, I want to delete it. Hello, he uh, hello. Let's do it again. Hello two. Hello two. Hello two. Delete it from the home folder. Yeah, deletes from Dropbox folder. And Dropbox, you know what that is? It's a cloud syncing thingy. There are alternatives. I think I will look into and replace Dropbox with Nextcloud, and it doesn't really matter. This this uh, setup that I have here, it's Dropbox. Of course, it's a, it's a syncing part, and the cloud part is, is is a big thing, but it it's not unique to Dropbox at all. So you could use uh, uh, an alternative. There are many ones out there. I, I I don't know. I have been using Dropbox for years. I just use it. I haven't had the time, and it's it's. Actually, no, I have no problem with it at all, personal. 
personally like for this managing it, 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 it's over like political or philosophical reasons I, I i want to change it you know you know how we are the 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 free software guys we want everything to be free and open source and such whatever okay so that's great i have a my scripts in my path sync to my dropbox very nice very nice everyone can do this uh this is not nothing you know are you making a video just to show how to make a shortcut budridge yeah i kind of am you know uh, but stay with me stay with me it will get very very cool soon very cool you will get uh, like um i i think you will be many people will 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 think wow that, that that's now now we're talking you know uh how to create a link a symbolic link on windows it's called a shortcut let's see here let's find something let's take a folder or we can take this file first uh, whatever I, I just take tmp this is my desktop folder uh, this is mapped to that so if i would have a normal desktop environment i would have desktop icons here and these are the icons i would see in my tmp folder inside my home folder whatever Let's create a symbolic link for this file in my TMP folder here. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to just select the file in your file manager, drag it, hold Ctrl and Shift. You see how the cursor changes to a little link symbol? Drop. <laughs> I created a symbolic link, guys. You can do this on any with any file manager, uh, at least a graphical file manager. Even on Windows, you can do this to create shortcuts. In my opinion, easiest way. Open two windows or two panes or whatever and just drag your files back and forth. Hold Control shift and it will create links. And it's the same with the folder. Uh, let's take here WP Junkie, which was a... Or it is a wallpaper manager written in auto hotkey for Windows that I did many years ago. It's probably broken now, whatever. You see it's an .exe file here. We don't want that stuff on our Linux. But I have saved this in on my Dropbox. It's nice to have, you know, the old projects or whatever. But that's how you create a symbolic link. It's very, very easy. You can, of course, do it on, on the terminal or with the script I recommend you uh, typing in man ln ln is the command that you create make links between files and there are it is quite a, quite complex in a way but at the same time it's very easy but I recommend you reading this man page it's not super long and it's it, it, it gives you some clarity there are also resources online where you can read more about links that I really recommend you doing because this this will help you a lot to link stuff. It doesn't cost you anything, you know, to make a link because it doesn't occupy any extra space on your file system. Well, it occupies it. It's a few bytes. It's just a couple of bytes, twenty bytes or something. It costs you in in storage space or maybe a kilobyte I, I i don't know it's very very small it's it's nothing you can afford it in space uh, on your drive it's it's no big deal okay i showed you how to create links uh let's let's get get to the cool part now okay i hid all my dot files uh let's go to the dropbox folder there it is i hid all my my dot files my hidden files but still i want them to be easily accessible the one the dot files that i need because you know you get this is more or less a clean install that i have here i don't have many programs installed yet and whatnot but still i have a lot of dot files and most of them i never ever uh, open i don't even know what some of them do you know what is this thumb thick whatever you know most of these uh, 
dot files and this is inside the config folder which is where many dot files live but not all of them because some programs they insist on installing the dot files here in your home folder to make it even more uh, cluttered we don't want this we want the dot files that we want that we o open often or whatever inside this folder dot now i haven't fixed this but i will uh, I have the, the these files also have a dot so they are hidden but they they doesn't have to be because all these files the folders are normal folders even the dot folder this is not linked this doesn't exist on Dropbox this is a real folder inside the home folder and these folders are also normal real folders created with the mkdir uh, command <sighs> But these files, all files here, and all files inside the folder, they are also links. But they are not symbolic links, they are hard links. And where are the source files? Let's take a file here. Let's take the profile, the dot profile file. It's a classic dot file that everyone have on their system so it's a good example yeah. dropbox folder here right pane uh, inside that we have a www folder and this is where the source code for my home page is my home page is a static home page let's open it up Doop -doop -doop -doop. Do I have it there? Here, you know, yeah, probably you have seen this. If you see this video, I don't know, you have found it somehow. Uh, so, this is my homepage. And it's a static homepage. Let's look here. I have uh, actually my profile file, my dot. This is the dot folder inside the home folder containing the profile this is the home page and look at this this is actually the actual file or of course it's not the actual file we are on uh, github now but this is online so it's not the actual actual file on my file system but it's a uh, copy rendered in html of my uh, profile file where did it go profile you see same file and this is now it doesn't show because I just turned it off because I have been fiddling around with the syntax highlighting but inside here I don't know if I should no let's not open the inspector and look at it maybe no but inside this code block all these uh, they are they are tagged or they have uh, classes HTML classes uh, which in turn is linked to a uh, CSS so I can turn on syntax highlighting here on the web page with the actual file and this file dot profile in my dot dots folder my dot folder I also have it here linked in uh, or li not linked it it is in my sublime tree here this is my profile this is if I edit this it will affect uh, yeah, the profile. When when I log into the system, it it will happen, you know. But this is just a link. The real uh, uh, file lives inside here, static. We are now in in the homepage source uh, folder thingy. Inside static, we have another folder called dots. You know, it's a lot of the same names. It's very confusing, and that's why we want to use links because. Um, then we can link the stuff that we, where we want it and where it's used by the system, like for instance uh, profile, it's, it's actually read by the system from the home folder. But the home folder, as we uh, said, it's very cluttered and messy. We don't want to edit it there and the home page, it reads the file from this location. You see, I'm really deep inside. I don't know if I can show how to, yeah. Here, this is the address. Home, bud, box, dropbox, www, static, dots, profile, files. That's the uh, folder. That's 
kind of a long way to, to go, especially from a terminal, you know, so it's not convenient at all, but this is actually where the original file lives. Then I have made, made hard links to this folder, the dot folder. It's just for my convenience to open files, to have the dot files that I uh, actually use, or I use all of them, but uh, those I, I want to have easy access to is inside this special folder. But these files are never read by the system. They are just copies because the, the real, or not the real, it, this is confusing to talk about. But here is the profile, you know, this is the home folder. This is the home folder, the bud, god damn it. Bud, home, bud, yeah. Here is the file that's read by, by, by uh, Linux when I log on. But the original one is here, in this weird location, on, on Dropbox. But they are all pointing, because they are all hard links to the I/O node on the file system. So whenever I edit any one of these, uh, this one, this one, or the one in the dot folder here, it doesn't matter which one I edit all three will change. The content will be the same on the files because all files are linked to the same target on the file system or the same data collection. Okay, what's the point, Padrich? It, it just seemed confusing. You have three files linked to... What, what, what's your deal here, you know? If you don't get it yet, this is how it works then. Dot folder this is where i uh, go when i want to edit my profile and to do that i just select the dot folder in, in sublime i open it up i edit it here blip blah blue blib let's make a comment of it see, just in case i forget this and see now i edited this file in here if i open this file it, you will not it's the same it's the same but you see the syntax highlighting is gone because it's uh, in Sublime uh, interpreters as another file, but it is representing the same data. What's the point, Budridge? What, why are, what are you doing? Don't you get it? This file is on in my www folder. Of course, it doesn't update immediately here online, but let's open um, let's start the Yugo server Yugo is a static site generator that I use uh, to 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 generate a static website now now it is open let's check it out here local host yeah local host this is uh, yeah who Yugo creates a server a test server so I can view the page here and if I go to dots here now profile you see here this is on the home page now and on this page you see it's syntax highlighted because yeah it it's not exactly the same that I have online yet because I haven't uploaded these changes and if I change this well this will not live upload now because it's that, that, that that's um, a thing so if I change this, I, I edit slash, it will not update this immediately uh, because it's linked file. It doesn't recognize the changes in the file system. I will make my own uh, watcher script to, to auto update even if I edit a file that isn't. Uh, but if I edit any other file on the home page, now it will update it. Slos. This you see. This is in HTML in a class in a blah 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 blue blue blue. It's it's incredible. And this is actually the file I edited. You know the profile. It is uh, it is the profile that I use. So it auto ed uploads or it doesn't auto upload, but it automatically change on the home page and. It is on Dropbox, so it's all my dot files are always safe. Is not the word I should use, but you know they are backed up. They are on the cloud. I can easily access them. 
if I'm on another computer. Of course I have scripts and such to automate this, to make the links. But the cool thing is that I can represent my actual files. I don't have to fiddle around with uh, updating multiple files of the same. And you know, this is how it always is. You know, people make these homepages, but they don't have the time to edit the same file on different places. No one wants to do that. I never have to bother about this. Now the profile, this homepage is done. I would probably never edit this, but I will edit the profile file itself many times and it will always stay updated on the homepage. As soon as I build a new project with Hugo, it will update the page. Do you understand? Do you get it? Pretty red. And I have written down a, a, a text version, kind of, of this um, this video here on the homepage. Uh, blog folder, 2017 September. Perfect folders, I call this article. Here you can see a more detailed version. And it also describes some of the scripts that I use. And I have actually uploaded the, one of these scripts now. Whatever. Read this. If you want to, if, if you think this is a cool thing, and try to implement it yourself. Maybe maybe you don't uh, have a homepage. You don't have an interest in in uploading your fold your files like this. I, I can totally understand that. But still, just having them synced to your Dropbox folder or your server or whatever with this technique. It's very, very neat and it's easy to set up and there is no, sure, Dropbox is a program or whatever in itself, but in one way, this this uh, doesn't have any dependencies. It just uses links, normal stupid links, no link farm program, no uh, dot file manager that, that you have to use. I'm very happy with this. I was hoping I would bring clarity uh, what I had done, but I don't know. Maybe I have just created more confusion. Confusion. I don't know. Did you like the video? Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe to the RSS feed on the homepage. You can also get in here in the chat. You will open up a, a Gitter page where you can you can chat with me, <laughs> with my fans. I have one fan. He's also my best friend. He's there sometimes. And uh, yeah, this is uh, locally, so you can't see that. But if you have opinions on any of the articles, especially this perfect folders, you can also write a comment. You can send me an email. You could give me a call if you had my phone number, but you don't. So whatever. This was a video by Budrich. There will be more. There will be podcasts, there will be articles, there will be stuff. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye.